mind being restless. The mind will be restless when you are by yourself and you have nothing to do. I figured out today that mind is very restless when you have nothing to do even for maybe half an hour or one hour. Mind will be very restless, wants to do something. And even though you are a meditator, monk, or anyone, I think this is a perfect test that you can do with your mind. And this is the perfect test to elevate yourself to higher conscious state. The reason I say this is because everyone has some work to do. Everyone has something to do in their daily life. Even though you are a monk, even though you are anyone in this world, you have to do some work. And you are doing this work on a, on a regular basis. Even the monk, he does get up early in the morning, he does some chants, he meditates, uh, he does some chores, he cleans, you know, and there's a specific time he he eats and he cleans again and then he goes to sleep at a certain time, right? So he's used to that. Even at that time, mind is restless, which means that mind wants to do something. Mind wants to meditate. Mind wants to clean something. Mind wants to, you know, so the mind activities involved in all the cases. And when you meditate, you know, you let go the thoughts and also you intentionally sit at that particular period of time and then you let go the thoughts, right? And you make this restless mind to be peaceful at that moment. But rest of the time, the mind is restless if you don't perform the work that you have been doing previously. That means if you have been getting up early in the morning and cleaning or doing some kind of activity, if you don't do it, the mind will become restless and it will make you do the stuff. It will have the power to make you do that thing again and again. And that's why we maintain a good routine and the monks maintain good routine so that they can repeat that process and which is good for their overall health and mental stability. And it's good for them to lead to that elevated state or enlightened state. So that's why you need to have a good routine in your life so that you can head in a good direction. And if you are looking to be an enlightened person or a person who can elevate the energy levels um, you need to have good routine on a daily basis so what i figured out about my restless mind is like i have a lot of activities in day-to-day -day life which means i meditate i do yoga i run i work out and then i cook then i work then I do some videos, you know, in between sometime I might watch something. So, and I sleep. So it's whole covered, right? Today I was feeling, suddenly I was feeling restless. I was feeling something missing, something missing. Then I tend towards my, my mind and then I try to watch it. It's making me to be restless. It's making me to do something because uh, right right now, like, you know, um, I was doing some work and then I have some free time, 10 to 15 minutes of free time. And then I was sitting, I was doing nothing. And then the mind starts to play its game. It wants you to do something. It wants me to either work on something. It wants me to do something. If I sit idle there, it's playing its part. The only way I could observe this is by observing my mind. And this can be a test even for an advanced meditator, anyone. Anyone, this can be really a test because everyone in this world is doing something on a regular basis. You're doing something, you're getting up in the morning, you're doing yoga, you're eating, and you're doing something, right? 
and the mind becomes part of it and mind is learning the body is learning and if you don't do that activity your mind and body will become restless and it's a good observation to watch your mind at that time and just to not do anything for that 15 minutes or 20 minutes or so with this thing you increase your capacity of letting go thoughts and you increase the capacity to be in here and now and you also increase the capacity of the observation the reason i brought this is because even as a daily meditator i've been meditating every day the mind can play its game at any given time of the day and if you want to be enlightened you need to understand your mind and you need to dedicate yourself to understanding of your mind and be observing it all the time that's your goal like you know that's your goal the, the goal is here to be in a no mind zone where the mind doesn't control you if you want your mind not to be controlling you then you need to have this idea of watching your mind observing it and see what it's doing and see what it's making you to do how it's powering you up how it's making you do the stuff again and again you know so which means that if you're running, you need to have an observation that, okay, okay, this is a part of observation that there's a subconscious mind involved in here and it's fine, I'm running, but I know I'm aware of this running, I'm conscious of this running, you know? So you need to be in that state. In order for you to be in that state of consciousness, you need to observe your mind more often. So today I want to talk about the restlessness in my mind just by sitting there and doing nothing. Just by sitting there and doing nothing is tough when, you, when your intention is not to meditate. When your intention is to meditate and then you're not doing anything, that's that's normal. That's that's fine with the meditator because your intention is to not do anything. But when your intention is not to meditate and you have nothing to do, then your mind will become restless because your intention is not of meditation or you don't want to do meditation at that point of movement. Maybe in between work, maybe in between driving, your car from one destination to other destination, right? I'm not talking about the process of meditation. I'm talking about, in general, the 24 hours, how to gain consciousness for 24 hours. So hopefully this helps. Um, whatever comes in my mind, I'm expressing it out because that's the way I gain my knowledge. And that's the way the people who are watching who has the patience to watch, who understand this, will understand it, and it will help you. Thank you, and namaste.